Jesus Jesus is your presence this moment we thank you we believe you we believe that your word is true and lord we lay in thy presence knowing oh god you be with us oh god we thank you for the work you have finished and we thank you for your fulfillment Hallelujah. thy promises are true oh god Amen. and we're here standing on those promises as believers of your word that only believe all things are possible. Hallelujah. And Lord Jesus Christ, as we stand before Thank you, Jesus. May your presence dwell with us, O God. Amen. I take every spirit into control of thy spirit. Amen. Thy presence with us, O God. Amen. Remembering your bride across this country as Amen. they gather this morning. Amen. As you speak to them, you speak to us, O God. Amen. Forgive our sins, our trespasses, yes. cleanse us, O Father. Amen. We come as we are, O oh God. Amen. May you take preeminence, take control of every situation in our Amen. lives. And may we see victory that comes Amen. from thee. I come in the reading of thy word into your Amen. hands, O oh yes. Father. May you break the bread of life unto us. Amen. The Lord, as we leave this place, Amen. we may rejoice in ourselves. Amen. We appreciate, we love you. We commit all things unto you for your own glory. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen and amen. I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And maybe we can um, turn to our Bibles before we sit down. Uh, we read one scripture, three places to read. And uh, we'll turn first to the book of Second Peter. Do you love him? Amen. I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Second Peter and the two verses there, but I read probably six verses. <clears throat> Second Peter from uh, uh, chapter two, we read from verse one to six. <clears throat> but there are false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that brought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. And many shall follow their uh, pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. And true covetousness shall they with point words make merchandise of you, whose judgment how now of a long time lingereth not, and the damnation slumbereth not. For if God spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell, and delivered them into chains of darkness, to be reserved into judgment, and spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, a bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them, with the overthrow making them an example unto those that after should live in godly. The book of Jude is before Revelation. We read to uh, the verses, there is only one chapter. Uh, we read verse 5 and 6. The Bible says, I will therefore uh, put you in remembrance through ye. Uh, though he once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people 
out of the land of Egypt afterwards destroyed them that believed not. The angels which kept not their first stead, but left their own habitation, he had reserved in everlasting chains and darkness into the judgment of the great day. You may be seated as we turn one to read one more scripture from again the book of Peter, uh, from the first uh, Peter, and we'll be reading uh, from verse 18 to 20. <clears throat> Christ also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might, might bring unto God, bring us unto God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit, by which also he went unto preaching the spirits in prison, which sometimes were disobedient when once the long suffering of God waited in the days of Noah, while the ark was preparing wherein few, that is, eight souls, were saved by water. We thank you once again for your word, King of Kings. These words have been read by many generations. And here we read the same, O oh God. May you breathe life into it, even for edification of our hearts, O oh God. We commit all unto you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I greet you once again in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And I believe you are fine uh, this moment. And mom, it's good to see our sister there. God bless you. Uh, welcome in the house of the Lord. We love the Lord Jesus Christ. And you're in the right place this morning. The Bible says, only believe. And the Lord will speak to you. Praise the Lord. As my brother was talking about uh, Goliath, and I thought uh, sitting behind there, you know, when David looked at Goliath, probably he didn't see how huge um, a giant he was. He saw how huge he was for him to miss, to kick the head, because he was a son of God. And he had the experience from the wilderness that as he looked, he didn't see how huge he was to finish him. But he looked and said, it's too huge for me to miss. And that's where we are. We don't fear. Fear is of the devil. We are children of God and when we go in his presence, we know we have God on our side. And if God be on our side, then who can go against us? God be for us. Who can fight us? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. This morning we want to take a few moments. I see it's after 12 and uh, probably I can have a few minutes and do whatever I can and whatever I reach will stop. Amen. And maybe go see the new place my brother has been talking about. And uh, we are all looking forward for the positive. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We are flying eagles. Amen. We are not frogs. No, frogs look back. Right. They have an evil spirit. Right. But eagles look higher. And the higher they go, the clearer Amen. the sight. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to take a little moment here and took on a few things that uh, our prophet has taught us uh, from the scriptures of read. I want to look at this message, the souls that are in prison now. Because as we are standing here, the souls that are in prison. Amen. And... We want to see what does uh, these scriptures really mean to us and uh, what is God doing in our midst. Amen. Because there's a ministry going on and God is speaking. And uh, we see last time I stood here, we were talking about only believe. And uh, you see there's an importance for us to believe uh, the word of God because the Bible says afterwards destroyed them that believed not. So uh, when it's given to you to believe, if it's the word of God, the prophet went around seven or so times around the world and he went singing, only believe, only believe, all things are possible. Amen. And when you receive the word of God, if it is the truth, I learn to say amen. amen. 
And the man says, so be it. And so be it means you are going to act on it. So when we come and the word is preached and you say amen to that word, uh, they say communication, those people who do administration, communication is complete when you get the feedback. Amen. So when you send a message to somebody, uh, you are not sure until you know they got it and they hit back and say, I received your message. Amen. So when you come to church and the word of God is preached and God is communicating and you say amen, amen says you accept that word. And for you to show that you understood that word, then you act upon that word. Amen. And then that word becomes a living word. Amen. It comes from the Bible into the lives of men and women. Amen. So we become from the written word, even to the spoken word. And when that word is spoken, then you say amen to that word. Amen. Then you begin to act on that word. Amen. That becomes life. And that's the life of the word of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So we see from the book of uh, Peter chapter 3, uh, the Bible says the disobedience. You see, those who had disobedience, God put them to death. Amen. And you know, sin brings death. Amen. And sin is unbelief. The things you may do here, maybe tell a lie, do one, two, three there. And those are simply attributes of sin. We are doing those things because we refuse to believe God. Amen. And failing to believe God then produces those acts of sin. Amen. So disobeying God, we see those who disobeyed God, he puts them even unto death. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So we are living in perilous times. And God is looking at his word. And the Bible says, see the angels... They were with God and disobeyed God. They were cast out. Praise the Lord. Amen. And Jesus Christ was crucified, hung on the cross of Calvary. He suffered for our sins, the just for the unjust. Amen. He was a just son of God. But he suffered for me and you, being unjust, he became sin, so that we could be justified in his presence. Amen. Blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. that he could bring us even to God. The purpose of him dying on the cross of Calvary, the purpose of him suffering, the purpose of him carrying there the sins of the human race was so that we could be restored back even to God, our Father. Amen. And the Bible says he was put to death, praise the Lord. Amen. He was put to death, but quickened by the Spirit of God. Amen. So put to death, but quickened back, praise the Lord. Amen. And the Bible says, and when he was on earth, as we're going to see, he had three pools and he preached but the last ministry did before he goes back to God, he picked to them souls that were in prison. Amen. Them that had been put into the prison house. Praise the Lord. Amen. He went there and he picked to them that had disobeyed God even into the days of Noah. That rejected God and since then they were sent into destruction into the prison house and when he comes to earth because God does not send man to judgment but first trying them all Amen. because he's a just God Amen. and before he comes to bring the final annihilation the final destruction he's going to be justified that he spoke to all Amen. blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ Amen. And we are living in the last days where the Bible tells us again the same disobedience has come. And remember, I'm speaking about souls that are in prison now. Because the prophet puts his thoughts very well, now becomes present. So from the time he put in prison, and we see there's a ministry that is going to speak to those souls because soon and very soon, God is going to bring his judgment to the world. Praise the Lord. And we see from the book of Luke 17, from verse 22, even up to 30, is a scripture we know. The Bible says, So uh, the days shall come when they shall desire even to see one of the days of the Son of Man. They would like to see the days of the prophet. But first, must he suffer many things and be rejected? Amen. 
some days, the days are coming where the world is going to desire. As we say sometimes, times are coming, my friends. Men and women are going to run. They'll ask for death to come for them, and death will refuse them. They say mountains fall on us, and mountains will refuse. Praise the Lord. So let us run when they still day. As it was in the days of the sun, so shall it be. Praise the Lord. As it were in the days of the Son of Man, so shall it be. The Bible says they drank, they married wives, gave in marriages, praise the Lord, until the day Noah entered into the ark. Praise the Lord. And the floods came down and destroyed that generation. And remember that disobedience goes to Noah. And you see when Jesus is going to speak to these men and women, he goes to speak to them souls. And the Bible comes and says, as it were in the days of Noah, so shall it be. So we are in the same moment. Meaning, if we are in the days as it were in the days of Noah, it means, oh hallelujah, there is Noah in the land. Because God as he's speaking about the days of Noah, as the days of Sodom and Gomorrah, if that's where we are today, it means there is a Noah in the land when second more time calling people into the ark. Oh, hallelujah. There is someplace somewhere, there is an ark and God has built this ark and is ministering again to them, telling, get into the ark. I'm going to destroy this generation again. Oh, blessed be the name of our Lord. And the book of Genesis chapter 6 says, And the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were fair, they were beautiful, and they took unto them wives as they chose. Hallelujah. Them days of Noah. Hallelujah. And the Lord said, my spirit will not always strive with man. Now we are coming slowly to see how the days of Noah is. Because it's so much is to call and say, oh, as it was in the days of Noah, or oh, as it was in the days. But we want to know the activities in the days of Noah. Because these things are power. They are going one by one as it was then. We are beholding them in our own eyes today. Hallelujah. Amen. So the same same history is repeating itself today in our present life life and the prophet says souls that are in prison now so as it was then so it is now and the sons and daughters of God are also on the scene as it was Amen. oh hallelujah Amen. hallelujah Amen. God saw the wickedness of man was so great on earth and every imagination and the thoughts of the heart was only evil continually. Today, men and women, their hearts, their spirits, their commitments is continually evil, Amen. crafty, right. sinful. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So it was, and so it is. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Lord said, Genesis 7, 1, Hallelujah. Amen. Said unto Noah, Come thou, and all thy house into the ark. That was the ark. It was the message for that day. Amen. For there have I seen righteous before me in this generation. Amen. He has seen righteousnesses no in that generation. He told him, come into the ark for seven days and I'll cause the rains upon the earth, four days and four nights. Praise the Lord. Amen. He was going to destroy. And everything that has been made will I destroy. Hallelujah. From all the face of the earth. Oh my. That was God. God's a loving God. And God is a jealous God. Amen. God is a consuming fire. Amen. This world is facing judgment. 
Man's heart is continually evil. Disobedience to the word of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Bible says having a religion, a form of religion, but denying the power thereof. Praise the Lord. Do you love him? Amen. Today, men and women want preachers who can pack them. Nice man. Humble. But God is God. The only way God loves you is when he sees his righteousness in us. Amen. And the reason we are here, we want to be holy before God. The reason we are in the church, in the house of God, we want to be purified. Hallelujah. Height goes with faith. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. You must fight to win the prize. Amen. It's not about me choosing what I want. It's about me choosing what God has given you. Amen. What God has given me. You see, I was telling my brother about the buffet. When you go to buffet, it has two ways to eat. In the buffet, you can choose what you want to eat. And that's faith. You choose what you want. But again, you may not. When you go there, God gives you the responsibility to take what you want. You can decide to take soup and go home. You can decide to take some, some good steak and go home. But the only way you go to a buffet and enjoy, you need a revelation. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And on the other side, the church again is just not a buffet where you're going to go and take what you want and go home. That's why you need a revelation when you go to church. Amen. It, it's a big piece. But you must have a desire. Amen. You must know what you are going for. Amen. You must know what you are going to eat. Amen. Otherwise you'll be fed on anything that is in there. Amen. I've seen sometimes children see food and they say, Ew, it looks so terrible. So sometimes you can say, Ew, that's not good. That's not the word of God. Because when I go there, I want to eat the word. Amen. And the word produces good health. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We must accept the word of God. Amen. Friends, the only way I know I love God is when I love you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because God is love. And if I can't love you, then I don't know the God I worship. Praise God. Amen. God is love. And God is truth. Jude, the scripture we read, Next to Revelation. Jude was a son of Joseph. Actually a foster brother of Jesus. So if anything he knew the birth of Jesus. And you see he comes in there. And he just writes one. And if you look at that writing. So heavy. Has a lot of things in it. Praise the Lord. Amen. He had a revelation of what God was going to do. And he says contending for the faith. That was once delivered to the saints. Amen. This faith was given at once. Amen. And that's what we are fighting for now. Amen. Faith is a fight. Amen. And this faith it, it is God's fight. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Are we together? Amen. We are fighting every day to defeat Satan. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's a fight in the body. And every day, I must fight to win the prize. Mm -hmm. Prophet 
word says you can be walking on earth but you are dead because Christ is not in me Christ is not in you praise the Lord book of Revelation says 3 14 to 20 the book of Lamentation. they are neither cold nor hot you know when you are laying a foundation we speak many good things and sometimes we speak tough things because we need to walk a walk of God. So the book of Revelation, the Bible says, they say they're rich, increased in goods, yet rich, miserable, poor, blind, naked. And the worst part, they don't know it. Hallelujah. Amen. Friends, we are the most privileged men and women. Hallelujah. To be here, we may be small, we may be many, but we are the most privileged generation on this earth to know what to know God has given to us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Bible says, I'll spit them out of my mouth. This age we are living in is an evil age. God hates it. He's going to vomit them out. Praise the Lord. So as it were in the days of Noah, you see God looked at the human race and he looked at them and he said the hearts of men are filled now thinking evil continuously. And this age we are living in, men and women, they're feeling they're so rich, they don't need nothing. Yet they're miserable, they're naked and they don't know it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The days of Noah, they were disobedient to him. And this age, they are disobedient to him. Praise the Lord. Now, let's look at the soul. Because we are looking at the souls that are in prison now. Blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'll just take my time. If I can read all I have, at one o'clock we're going to leave. And we can always, I said we cannot preach and finish. Hallelujah. So don't worry, we'll just be fine by God's grace. Prophet says the soul is the nature of the spirit. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So the nature of your soul should be God. Amen. Because if the nature, if the soul is actually the nature of the spirit, then if we have God, then God becomes your nature. Amen. And God cannot die. So if you are born again, then you receive the nature of God, which is thy spirit into your soul. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He said in the book of Genesis, let us make man in our own image. Hallelujah. Amen. After our own likeness. Hallelujah. Amen. Both male and female. Man was to have dominion all over the sea, the fish, all earth. In the likeness of God, after his own image, God being spirit, so man was to be like God. Sometimes the message is read and you want to read and read and read and read again. Hallelujah. And that's the message you just read and you just want to sweep and go. Because this is important for us as sons of God. He made both male and female in his image, created he them. Then he goes to form them from the dust. He made bodies for them. So from the original, man had or was to have the image of God. Man had to have the nature of God. Man was to be like God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Blessed be the name of Jesus Christ. But feminish and male, they were to be in his likeness. That was God's desire. But you see man, after God goes to create him, then form him in flesh, man, through the deception of the serpent, he went and disobeyed God's word. He fell. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Now, when man fell, he lost that very nature that God wanted him to have. Now, from then, man, created by the spoken word, man began to come through blood and flesh. Man now begin to multiply, born through woman and man, which is sinful, coming from the word of God by sin, going against the promise of God. You love him? Amen. What did that bring? Death. And that's why the prophet comes and says, now that very nature must die. Praise the Lord. Amen. That nature must die for you to receive a new nature to be into our souls. So these souls that are in prison now, let's find out where are they? Who are they? Because friends, it's not about Brother Paul, it's not about Brother Solomon, it's not about my brother there, my sisters, it's not about us, it's about you and God. Is a race. We are not here to please one another. We are here to please God. Amen. We are here running to please God. Amen. And we are here to surrender ourselves into the hands of God. Amen. And the messenger, the knower of our age, he says he went into a vision. And God, when he goes to this thought, what brought him to think this thought? He says he went and being the vision, he saw himself going and sinking eternally. And while he was in that vision, he began to sink. And he went and he went through the clouds and he went to go and went on and went on and went on. Hallelujah. Amen. And as he sang, there was darkness. And he sang down and went down and went down. And he says he went into the regions of hell. Into the regions of the lost. Praise the Lord. And as the prophet saw in that vision, he moves into the deep of the lost in that region. He began to scream. And he screamed, Mommy! And Mommy was not there. He screamed, Daddy! Hallelujah! And Daddy was not there. It was a bottomless pit. He could go on and go on, and there was darkness filled the place, eternally continued to go. And he said, He screamed out. And as he looked around, he thought God must be somewhere. And he screamed for God. God was not there. Praise the Lord. Amen. There was no stopping, friends. It was a deadly place. Continue to scream. Darkness filled the place. It was the most awfulest. Very bad feeling. Very sorrowful. Hallelujah. Amen. And he says, as he turned to look, and he saw some women with their eyes looking green, and he wondered where he was. Turned back. Hallelujah. Amen. We are seeking for God tonight. Amen. Prophet cried, Oh my God, have mercy on me. Amen. He didn't want to be there. And he wouldn't like to be there. It's an awful place. Prophet said, If I go back, Lord, I'm going to be a good boy. I'm going to serve you. Just take me back. You can figure out you are going. You are sinking. You are going and going and going. There's no end to it. It's filled with darkness. Hallelujah. Amen. Prophet said the thing he's going to say. He said, oh my God. I know I never committed adultery. But I know there is a God somewhere. That was a horrible place. Hallelujah. Amen. And he came from that condition. 
He said when he comes from that condition, and time later, him and his wife, they go to Tucson, and as they went to do some shopping, and they're sitting in J.C. Penny, and he was there, and that is the excavator, and waiting to see the wife go shopping, and as he sat down there, looking around, in the natural, he began to see the same picture of the lady women he had seen down there. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. He wondered, Lord, where am I? So those men behaving like sissy, men behaving like women, Dressing like women, acting like women, and this is the generation we are in. Let me tell you, friends, the Bible says, as it were in the days of no, so shall it be. They all lust, they left the ways of God. They went out of their own ways. They chose to live how they chose to. They didn't care about God. Amen. But the Spirit of God was still watching. Friends, we are treading on a dangerous ground. We are treading on the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And I can tell you for sure he's coming back to our again. Amen. The Lord Jesus in his majesty. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And I always say Jesus is not a young boy. He's going to get a bride. Amen. Amen. He's going to get married. Amen. And that woman knows what he's looking for. Amen. That woman is looking for a, a stable man. And Jesus is a young man who knows what he's looking for. He's not looking for any of this bikini wearers. He's looking for a stable woman who can cook. Praise the Lord. The word of God is a consuming fire. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a bunch of sissy like brothers. Men, young men walking around J.C. Penny, and he saw those women again with their eyes looking like a cat. Do you know how cats look like? And he wondered, where am I? It was the same picture that he saw when in the vision. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 He went sat down and he felt sick. He felt sick. I want to tell you one thing, friends. When we're in the house of the Lord, we want to be happy. Amen. When we come here, we want to rejoice. Amen. Sometimes you are married. Sometimes when food comes on the table, sometimes you may not like it. But I want you to believe your wife cannot cook for you poison. Praise the Lord. Amen. If she does, then she doesn't love you. Sometimes maybe there was not enough salt. Maybe for that day there was not enough sugar. And the food was placed on the table. When you come to church, I want you to have the mind that if you are wife of Jesus, your husband will not give you poison. Amen. So when you are sitting on the table, I want you to have your mind well set. That whatever is said in the living house of God is for your good. Amen. When the wife prepares food, it's good for the husband. Amen. When the husband goes to the store, he's not going to buy some mattress that has some tones to make you love, uh, uh, to bring home for the wife to sleep on and the tones begin to scoop you up. Hallelujah. Amen. So if we go with that mentality, We'll be happy people. Amen. We know all things work Amen. for good Amen. to them that love the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. The prophet became sick because he saw the same pictures. There are very strong statements there. The prophet makes. But we'll spare them for another day. But today, all that disobeyed, God destroyed them. Amen. All that refused to believe the word of God, God disobeyed them, destroyed them. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 
Praise the Lord. Amen. Friends, I want us to be encouraged. Sometimes, <laughs> hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. You know, sometimes when I'm eating, I feel like giving some food to my son. But then I realize it's too young. It does not mean the food I'm eating is bad. But sometimes if I take that food and put it in my son's mouth, it could destroy his health. Is that right? That's right. Sometimes when I'm drinking juice, I know my son can drink it. He could easily open the mouth and drink it, but I don't give it. Because my knowledge tells me he's still too young for that. Amen. Keep on enjoying it. Amen. Keep on building bones. Because time comes, you must eat some beef. Amen. Time comes, you need some bones to crack. Amen. And when you crack them, you crack them happily. Amen. So I don't want to destroy those growing tiny teeth. I want them to be strong. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And as we go, I want you to prepare for a big menu. Blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I'll skip some of my notes here. The prophet says, when he went into the legion of the lost, and when he was sitting at J.C. Penn in Texas, the same people he saw, the same Women he saw, the same men he saw, is the same thing he saw physically, and he began to cry. What am I trying to tell you, friends? We are living in the last days. Amen. Hell is on earth. Right. We are longing to go home. Right. Everything we see is evil. There's nothing good in this generation. I don't care what you say about homes and the houses, good highways and byways, they are going to be destroyed. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yes, you may look at New York City. You may look at Los Angeles. You may look at all these great cities in America, in Europe, and whatever you think about. I'm telling you, they're going to be destroyed. For time has come. Amen. The reigning God is going to come back to earth again. Amen. And many times we think we are important. We think we are feeling great. But let me tell you, the life you have, God gives you. Don't go and start praying when you are sick. Pray when you are healthy. Don't go pray because you are broke. Pray because you love God. Because God is watching us. Hallelujah. Do you love him? This is the day we are living in. Is the day heading for destruction. The Bible says Jesus, after he had finished his ministry, he went and tricked the last part to the souls that were in prison. Amen. And remember that moment his ministry had been rejected. But he identified himself. He identified himself as the Messiah. He went before the Sanhedrin and we see him seated there. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved by signs and wonders. And we see Peter speaking about him. Praise the Lord. Amen. But they crucified him. Why did they crucify him? They disobeyed him. They refused to believe him. The peace of life. Hallelujah. Amen. But God, by his quickening power, he raised him up. Amen. He lives today. But when he came, he identified himself. God identified him. And he prophesied. The three confirming who he was. And continually, Jesus has been preached. Praise the Lord. Amen. Look up, friends. For redemption. God will never bring a man to judgment as I've said. He will never send you to a furnace of fire until he brings you to trial. Amen. He cannot condemn you until he puts you on to trial. Amen. 
Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So these souls in prison, they are in a prison house. What are they waiting for? They were then savable. Praise the Lord. Amen. They were placed into a prison house. We have two. We have the lost and we have the redeemed. And you know that those souls, when we see the thief on the cross, he tells the Lord, remember me in paradise. Amen. But there is another one who is cursing him. These are two different people. And we have the lost souls. And we have the blessed and redeemed souls. Amen. You need that blessing this morning. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Can you, you, can you go to the computer? And just go to the sorcerer in prison. Line 112. Souls in prison. Paul, you can help. Go there if you can, please. Souls that are in prison. Let's see what the prophet says over there. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes I really just go through my notes very quick. Hallelujah. Amen. Why am I encouraging you to do friends? There is redemption. And there is destruction. Hallelujah. The souls that are just singing hallelujah, hallelujah, hosanna. When is it going to be? And the souls that are screaming. So disobedience to the word of God leads to destruction. Obedience to the word of God leads to a blessing. Amen. Choose tonight where you want to be. Blessed be the name of Jesus Christ. If you can, I can read it through. Are you able to get it? I always like people to read it if we can. Otherwise, I could just read it straight to the message. Do you love him? Amen. Amen. Are you happy this morning? Amen. Actually, this afternoon, are you happy? Amen. Are you feeling happy, friends? Amen. Can you give him a clap? Hallelujah. He's a good God. He died for you. He was hanged on the cross of Calvary for you. He cried, Abba, Abba, my father, why have thou forsaken me? It was for you and for me. And being kind enough, he went into prison, even to preach themselves. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. One, one, two. Line one twelve. Amen. Amen. Just turn it up. Just one one two. One one two. One one two. That's what the prophet says there. Hundred and twelve. Amen. Maybe probably maybe your setting is different than mine. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. This is what he says. Amen. <clears throat> so is that in prison now? One, one, two. And I am getting towards those regions of the lost. You can picture hell being that bad. And whatever you do, don't you never get any. Forget this, that the regions of the blessed, I would say, this with St. Paul, I has not seen, he has not heard. Or either could it enter the heart of man. What God ha has for them in store that love him. So stop. If you are listening at the tape, Turn the machines off. Repent if you are not saved. And get right with God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you are listening this afternoon, stop. Repent. Make it right with God. Say, I say this by first hand experience. As I believe in my heart and I say, if this, if the visions have deceived me, God be merciful for me. Make a stand like that. But with sincerity in my heart, knowing that not one of them visions ever failed, I believe that I have been in both places. Far be it from any human being going that road downward. Praise the Lord. Amen. Never go that way downward, friends. If there is something that can stand between you and God, it may be your family, 
It may be your job. It may be your friends. It may be church. I don't care what it is. But let nothing stand between you and God. The prophet says, stop. Repent. Go before God. Time is out. Praise the Lord. Jesus preached to his souls. What did he say? As the Father sent I, so sent I you. In other words, we have a ministry. We are now preaching to the souls that are in prison now. Hallelujah. Amen. My sister, my brother, you have a responsibility for your family to go and tell them Jesus is risen. Amen. Because time is coming, and we'll see before I cross. Time will come. There will be, be no more. Time will come when we cross this red light. Amen. And there is no more dependence. There is no more grace. Praise the Lord. Amen. And these souls that disobeyed God, they were closed into that prison house, waiting for destruction. Don't become part of the souls. Amen. Bible says, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he also do. Amen. Praise the Lord. Mark 14, sorry, John 14 and verse 12. Preaching to the lost. Healing the sick. Praise the Lord. Amen. That was Jesus' ministry. But we have the same power to do the same works. To perform the same works. Hallelujah. Recently, I was watching a clip on YouTube and I saw some brothers and sisters in a church. I can't blame them, but it just affected me. And I saw a big meeting for convention and behind the meeting, there was a small room set aside with little children with another brother with a sign language interpretation. Praise the Lord. It's not a very beautiful scene. Where is the God of Elijah? We have victory. We have a God who answers prayer. Amen. I know some have been born blind. Some were born lame. Some were born dumb for the glory of God. But it's my prayer that the presence of God can be with us till a drug dealer will come in our presence and he walks out and he throws the drugs away. The sick can walk in our midst and as they walk out, they can feel it come from the presence of God. Praise the Lord. We are not dead friends. We are seeking a God. That's a working God. It's a living fire. That I can come there and I'm distressed. I'm frustrated. I'm depressed. But when I come from the presence of God, I know someone is speaking to me. I was in the presence of God. My sins are gone. They're lost into the bottomless pit. Because Jesus has been speaking to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. How can I deceive them that I love? How can you deceive them that we love? Praise the Lord. How will I deceive you if I love you? We are looking for this place. It's a place somewhere. As the prophet was going down, singing down and down and down, he said, but I know there is a God somewhere. And you see, he began to examine himself. And he said, God, if I go back there, I want to be a blessed boy. I'm going to be a good boy. I never committed a doubt. Hallelujah. Redemption comes only by when the Redeemer Dies. Amen. And I said, your old nature must die. Amen. Amen. Do you love me? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Fight and fight. You have to be a warrior to walk with God. You have to be a warrior. 
those who come from Africa, where you come from, we have some guys called the Maasai. They are warriors. They are pastoralists. They stay in the bush. And when they are walking out and an animal come, they don't care. They care about their sheep, their cattle. They fight out to keep their sheep safe. Amen. And God, as the main shepherd, will fight for you. When you are sick, God wants to fight for you. When you are down, God wants to fight for you. When your child is sick, God wants to fight for you. Amen. You are only supposed to stay in the sheepfold. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Many times when we walk away, we err. As long as you are in the sheepfold of God, you can't go wrong. As long as you are walking the word of God, you can't go wrong. Hallelujah. But many times we step out, we begin to go wrong. Right. And sisters, brothers, I always tell my brothers and sisters, women are beasts, men are beasts without Christ. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. Some men have bad anger. Some women have bad anger. Who can destroy that? The love of God. Amen. Jesus. You want your man to love you more? Give him Jesus. You want your woman to love her more? Give her Jesus. It's only Jesus. It's not a good house. It's not a good job. It's not a good car. It's not a good family. It's Jesus. We are trying to fight to make up his own self we have. There's nothing better than Jesus. There's nothing can get better in this world. All is rotten. Education is of the devil. Civilization is of the devil. Everything you can think about. Politics is of the devil. There's nothing better in this generation but Jesus. Get Jesus, friends. Take Jesus at your heart. Accept Jesus as your personal savior. Get him as your king. He's the prince of peace. He'll give you the peace of mind you want. He'll give you the point you want. He'll give you the victory you want. He'll give you the success you want. Jesus and Jesus alone. Nothing more. I don't need nothing. Take everything you want. Your beauty will die off. Your body will die off. Your children will leave you. But Jesus will never leave you. Accept Jesus this morning. Thank him as your personal savior. Lift him up in your life. He's the king of kings. He's the lord of lords. He's the host of all things. Jehovah. Jesus of the New Testament. He's the same today. To them that can only believe. Praise the Lord. The souls in prison. The souls that are dead. The souls that are getting lost. But there's a ministry to them. Blessed be the Lord Christ. And as Jesus said, as the Father sent me, so send I you. Go into the prison house and pick them souls. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is so good. God is so good. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good, my friends. Jesus only. Jesus is the Lord. Let me tell you, friends, if you have a brother, if you have a sister, if you have a wife, if you have a husband, who is speak to you about a brother, and you hate that brother, you hate that sister, that brother has a virus, and run away from them. Praise the Lord. God cannot deceive you. It's a virus. Some people speak, and when they speak to you, you begin to hate. That's right. You begin to dislike. Oh, you begin to avoid. Right. That man speaking to you is not a man of God. He's possessed by an evil spirit. He's not a good man. He's a tool of the devil. You watch it fool. Stay secure. Watch the words. And your tongue wants to talk. But when you open your mouth, the Bible says, watch what you say. Hallelujah. There are some brothers who can't sit with them without talking negative about a brother. Right. You can't talk to them without talking negative about a sister. They tell you all the negatives. It's an evil spirit. Hallelujah. And that's not the church I'm looking for. I'm looking for a church I can talk about. I can condemn sin and love God and talk positive and seek for God's grace. That's the church I'm looking for. I'm not looking for a church to backbite. I don't even look to try to destroy, to step on the brother, to step on the sister, to destroy them. I'm looking for a church to build a brother, to build a sister, to raise them in faith, 
to pull them from the prison house in the freedom of the spirit of God. But the Bible says, then the world has set free, they are free indeed. Then Jesus has set free, they are free indeed. You are to fuck in the freedom of the word of God. The freedom looking for Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. There's nothing correct without holiness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Serving God is our lives. Serving God. Going to school is good. Praise the Lord. Getting a degree is good. Going to school is good, but get Jesus first. Right. Getting a better job is good, but get Jesus first. Because seeking the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all the hell shall be added unto you. Serving God is our life. Praise the Lord. Let us not be tormented in our lives. Every night you are tormented with evil dreams, evil imagination. You need Jesus in your sleep. Praise the Lord. If a dream comes to you that he will stand out of your bed and cast it. Yes, sir. Something comes to build a head to your brother, stand up and refuse it. Amen. Tell the devil, I love my brother. Amen. I love my sister. Amen. I don't care how they are. Amen. The creation of God. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Paul called the communication that corrupts. The corrupted communication. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. You have to watch friends. Amen. You have to watch. Some, uh, it is an airborne. You stay around someone and you catch the spirit. Mm -hmm. And before you think, a sister who never used to talk, now he talks like tak, 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 tak. The brother who used to be quiet no longer. But brothers are talking more than women. That's right. Shame on me. God have mercy. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. The Holy Ghost works in church of God doing the same things as he did when he was here. Amen. Same pillar of fire. The same one today. Jesus said coming and in the beginning anointed a river Jordan and he said John here in him I'm pleased to dwell that same spirit we have seen it in our age at River Ohio. If you don't know that same spirit at St. John the first one for on the first coming of Jesus Christ, the same same spirit comes down and says as John was sent for on the first coming, your ministry, your message is going to for the second coming Amen. of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Oh my, it's one o'clock and I have a number of pages here. I don't think I can finish this. I'll do it another time. Hallelujah. I wanted to go to the seals so we can know how the seals and the revelation of the seals come to bring in that word mystery of God. And as he goes, even to reveal them, and you see the book of the seventh the seventh and the sixth seal when it is revealed and we are seeing the Lamb of God and when John was told and he looked, when he looked around there was nobody worthy. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 There was nobody worthy Amen. even to open or to look into that book but the slain Lamb of God. He was worthy. The Lion of Judah. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you love him? Amen. Hallelujah. No. We want to go to the new place and say it looks like so God help me. Amen. You are here. And we'll do the works of the Lord Jesus Christ till he comes. Amen. Amen. Do you love him? Amen. Do you love him? Amen. God is good. Amen. Amen. I'm just trying to look at this. What I can skip. Amen. We are predestinated sons and daughters of God. Amen. And we know we are in an age. The Bible says this book that was sealed with seven mysteries held the entire ministry. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And it was to be made perfect. And the old 
couldn't be made perfect without us. Amen. So all the great prophets from Abraham today, they are waiting for us Amen. to be perfected. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Do you love him? Amen. There was no man that was worthy. Oh, I wish I could go through all this. Oh, hallelujah. You love him? Amen. There was no man but the Lamb of God that was worthy to open that book. Now, what can I say in summing up? This is all I can just go through. I could read all of them. Oh, my, my. Thank you, Lord. Professor, get out. Free from the field. Don't let the devil come there. Amen. Amen. Maybe God willing, I'll try to take this another day and use it in a different way and just get the notes that I felt I need to speak on. Praise the Lord. When we see Jesus in his ministry, I'm closing, give me about 10 minutes. Jesus in his ministry, he had three pools. Praise the Lord. Amen. He came and healed the sick. Mm -hmm. He came and he rebuked the generation. That's right. Praise the Lord. Amen. And he preached the last pool to the souls that were in prison. Hallelujah. Amen. Noah had three pools. And his last pool was his ministry to the souls that were lost. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Do you know, right now we have most people who don't believe. But when Christ appears, they believe when we're too late. Mm -hmm. Amen. When I say the third pool of no, remember the souls that rejected him. And that's why Jesus goes there. The third pool of Noah, he preached <clears throat> to the lost. And how did he preach to the lost? The door was shut. Praise the Lord. Amen. And as long as they looked at the ark, and as long as they knew Noah was in, and the Bible says eight souls only was saved. They begin to know that man was a man of God. Amen. Too late. That's right. Too late. They came knocking. Please, no. Open. But Noah said, I didn't close the door. God Himself closed the door. Amen. My brother, my sister, I don't want to bore you this exchange in your spirit. <clears throat> this message is going to the total lost. Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 1. The Bible says, Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received, we faint not. Praise the Lord. But we have renounced the hidden thoughts. Of dishonest, not walking in craftiness, not handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of truth, commending every man's conscience, every evil man's conscience in the sight of God. And if our gospel be hid, is hid to them. That are lost. Amen. Let this gospel not be hid to you. Amen. If tonight you hear his voice calling you, don't hearken. Amen. Don't be lukewarm. Don't be allowed this year mm. to say they're rich, they have everything. The Bible says, God is going to vomit them out. He'll spew them out. Amen. Because they're filled with filthiness. My sister, my brother, as I told you, I love you. Amen. And every time I stand here, I want to express my love for you. Amen. But my love for you is for you to love God. Amen. If I see something that's not right,